We're all used to water, snow, and even ice dropping down on us from the skies. But even the most extreme storms don't measure up to some of the other strange things that have come down from above. Be ready to expect the unexpected next time you go outside as we show you the strangest things that have fallen from the sky. Number 10. A cow. In 1996, the crew of Japanese trawlers were rescued in the Sea of Japan, clinging on to the wreckage of their ship. When authorities questioned them about how they had lost their boat, they were immediately imprisoned because of the ludicrous explanation that was given. They said that a cow had fallen from the sky, struck the ship, and caused it to sink. They were kept in prison for a few weeks until the Russian Air Force told the Japanese authorities of what had happened. They said that a crew of one of their cargo planes had stolen a cow from the edge of a Siberian airfield, but unable to deal with live cargo, had ejected the animal while they were 30,000 feet above the Sea of Japan. Before you start watching the skies for flying cows though, there are questions over the validity of this story. It has been told a number of times over the past 30 years and has become somewhat of an urban legend. Still, these stories are always based on some element of truth, so it's entirely feasible that this did actually happen at some point. Number 9. Golf Balls In Florida, with its numerous golf courses, it's not too uncommon to hear someone shouting, "Four and having to watch yourself. But in 1969, something very peculiar, even for Florida, happened. During a seemingly normal rainstorm, dozens and dozens of golf balls flew onto the town of Punta Gorda. They filled the gutters, lawns, and streets, and baffled locals as to how many could fall in such a short period of time. The town on the western Gulf Coast often sees severe weather, including water spouts, and it's now thought that a tornado passed over a local golf course and picked them all up from a golf course lake to later deposit them when it dissipated. Number 8. Reptiles in early 2018, as the U.S. East Coast suffered the effects of a so-called bomb cyclone, which brought freezing temperatures and strange weather events such as the first measurable snowfall in Tallahassee for 28 years, Floridians experienced even stranger phenomena, frozen iguanas falling from the trees. The reptiles, accustomed to the warmer weather, are cold-blooded, so when temperatures fall too low, their bodies shut down in an attempt to survive. This led to residents finding seemingly dead and frozen iguanas strewn across the ground. When the weather warmed up, so did the iguanas, and they came back to life, ready to climb back into the trees and do whatever it is that iguanas do. Perhaps more frightening is a story from Charleston, South Carolina in 1843, when, after a powerful storm, residents found a two-foot-long alligator on a street near the French Quarter. It's thought that the only way it could have got there was by being carried there by the storm probably explaining the reports that said it had a look of wonder and bewilderment about it as it took in its new surroundings. Number 7. Raw Meat Probably one of the last things you'd expect to see falling down on you is raw meat, but there have been quite a few reports of it happening. In 2012, for example, pieces of chicken fell from an otherwise clear blue sky in Virginia and hit a girl who was taking a horse riding lesson on her head. Luckily, she was wearing a helmet at the time, so she didn't suffer any major injuries. Even stranger was an event in 1876 in what has become known as the Kentucky Meat Shower. On a clear March morning, fresh, raw meat, what appeared to be beef, began to fall from the sky for a few minutes. It was all shapes and sizes, some as small as flakes and some as large as three inches in length, and once it had finished, had covered an area about 100 yards long and 50 yards wide. There was great debate at the time about how this could have happened, with some even suggesting there was a ring of meat around our planet, with some occasionally falling down, in the same way a meteor does. While both of these events seem very strange, there's a generally accepted explanation, that the meat has been picked up by birds, probably gulls, and they drop it when they have either had enough of carrying it or encountered tricky conditions to fly in. However it happens though, it's most definitely not fit for human consumption. Number 6. Star Jelly Star Jelly is a sticky substance that has been found in various places around the world, including in Scotland, the Lake District in England, and New York, 
Texas, and many other places. It was even the inspiration behind the classic horror movie, The Blob. Legend has it that star jelly falls to Earth during meteor showers and is the sticky substance that keeps space rocks stuck together but the reality is a lot more down to earth. During an investigation for a TV show in the UK, a wildlife presenter retrieved a sample of star jelly and sent it to the Natural History Museum in London. Their analysis found that the substance was amphibious in origin, most likely a frog, and also contained traces of a magpie. This has led to the conclusion that, rather than being otherworldly matter, star jelly is, in fact, the remains of a frog or frog spawn that has been dropped by a bird that was in the process of eating it. Number 5. Milk Next time someone asks if you've got milk, spare a thought for the residents of Chester, South Carolina, who got more than they bargained for in 1969. One of the local factories was owned by a company called Borden, whose main product was a non-dairy creamer called Cremora. For those who aren't familiar with it, the powdered product is added to liquid and turns into a milk substitute. The factory wasn't well maintained, and in particular, it had issues with its exhaust vents. They would occasionally get blocked, and this would result in the powder being released into the air. As you can imagine, if this happened while it was raining, the town would get covered in a layer of creamer. In 1991, the company was eventually fined for the incident and others that happened in the late 60s, being ordered to pay $4,000 for releasing Cremora beyond the plant boundaries. Number 4. Human Body California citizens experience things falling from the sky more often than most others, but one of the most unfortunate examples happened to Mary Fuller from San Diego in 1978. She was sat in a parked car with her eight-month-old son one morning when a human body crashed through her windshield. Fortunately, her and her son survived the incident with only minor cuts and bruises but what they hadn't realized is that they had been witness to the tragic aftermath of one of California's worst ever aviation disasters. Far above them in the sky, a private Cessna aircraft had collided with a Pacific Southwest airline flight. 144 people were killed in the collision, and one of the poor victims had been ejected from the wreckage and landed on top of the car. Number three, money. Of all the objects on this list, this is the one you'd actually want to happen. There have been a number of documented incidences where money has seemingly fallen from the sky, such as in 1957, when thousands of 1,000 franc notes fell down in the town of Bourges in France, and in 1975, when $588 worth of notes fell to the ground in Chicago. More recently, in 2017, pedestrians in Indianapolis found $1 notes falling to the sidewalk, with the money thought to have come from a robbery gone wrong. And in late 2018, $30,000 worth of banknotes was thrown from a building and fell to the bang crowds in Hong Kong as a stunt to promote a currency website. But if cold hard cash isn't your thing, then how about gold? In 2018, a cargo plane was taking off from Yakutsk Airport in Siberia when the cargo hatch tore open and spilled nearly 200 gold bars into the air. Weighing almost three metric tons, most of the gold bars landed onto the runway but the plane continued for 10 miles before it could land, so a large quantity fell to the ground that was never officially recovered. Number two, fish. Fish are undoubtedly the most common animal to fall from the sky, so much so that in Mexico, they have a name for it, Uvia de Peces, which means rain of fish. There are countless stories of communities struck by this phenomenon, and it happens across the world. In 2010, the Australian town of Lajamanu experienced two days of fish rain, with hundreds of spangled perch falling, some of which were still alive. It's thought that a thunderstorm could have picked the fish up as high as 40 or 50,000 feet into the air, where they were frozen until they fell again. This was the third time in 30 years that it had happened here, but still, the meteorologists seem unable to predict it happening. Then in 2012, players at a Californian golf course found an even larger fish, a leopard shark. It had puncture marks, which seemed to have been from a bird that picked it up from the nearby Pacific Ocean, and amazingly, it was still alive. Workers took it straight back to the beach, and it soon swam off seemingly quite healthy. Finally, in late 2018, a Redditor posted about a fish that they had found in their garden. Blood red and a horrifying shape, they had no idea what type of fish it was, until someone later confirmed it to be a short-spined sea scorpion. As the person who posted the image lived on a cliffside, they presumed that a bird must have caught the fish and dropped it as it flew overhead. If you ever find one of these in your garden, stay well clear. 
they shouldn't be handled without protection as they can be very harmful. Number one, spiders. In what is probably the worst news possible for any arachnophobes, spiders falling from the sky is actually a relatively common phenomenon. Videos from around the world in places like Brazil and Australia show the air full of black specks, each of which is an eight-legged creature looking for somewhere to land. There are actually two ways that this can happen. The first, common in Brazil, is because of a species called Parawixia bistriata. These small spiders aren't actually falling, but we very fine webs anywhere they can in order to trap prey. The web is virtually impossible to see with the naked eye though, so it gives the impression that they are falling down. The other way spiders get up so high is because of a process called ballooning. This is how spiderlings travel to new areas. They climb to the top of tall vegetation and release a silk balloon that carries them into the wind. They have been seen traveling miles with this method and cause havoc for those in their path with the ground getting covered in webs when a swarm lands. It's this method that has allowed spiders to travel across the world and reach islands that would otherwise have been inaccessible to them. If you'd like to learn more about how spiders fly, you should check out this video on screen now. And next time it's raining and you look up to the sky, remember that it could be more than just water falling down from the heavens. If you're lucky, it could be something valuable, but it could just as easily be something potentially deadly or incredibly gross. What's the strangest things you've seen fall from the sky? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.